Hi everyone, James here, back with another look inside the box review. This time it's the Ravel 172nd scale Messerschmitt P1099 B slash I heavy armour. So on the front it's a very nice box art of the aircraft. It's quite appealing. This side has the the bent dimensions and going to the side of the box you have the colour suggestions and then a bit about detailed surface structure and then the, the rendition of the built model what it could look like I'm going to go with the box art markings and the other side some safety information and again the the box art picture skill level 3 and then on the back some more kits from the Revel range and then a bit about what each number of skill is if it's, it's easy to hide opening the box up you have in one bag uh, four sprues sheets including the clear parts Instructions, decals, and then some more safety information, and then Revel's uh, metal car range. Plastic first. Start off looking at the, the fuselage and control surfaces, and then the wing half. It's recessed panel lines. The plastic's crisp and clear. There's no flash that I can see of yet. There is some sinkage. It's not too bad. Just here. And then inside the cockpit there's no detail. I think you get some cockpit sidewall detail, I'm not too sure. Close look at the detail. So the next sprue is the engine cowlings, cockpit detail, the wheels, some uh, firewall and bulkheads, some wheel bays, landing gear oleos, and this one, a close look at the detail. It's again the the parts are crisp and clean, there's no flash. It's landing gear, oleos, some cockpit detail. This is a seat, there is harnesses moulding moulded onto the seat itself. wheels 
quite nice. I am going to build this straight out of the box as I've looked and there isn't anything aftermarket to buy. Same with the decals, I'm just going to go with the box art decals. And the last grey sprue, there is more. If I just cockpit detail there again, the, the weaponry. And that's the um, the ball uh, joint for the weapons for the rear. Then you have the side weapons for the the rear of the fuselage. Then look at the closer detail. Crisp and clean parts. There is no flash that I can see. Quite good detail to the model also. And then the canopy. There is a few scratches and marks here, but that should be easily buffed out. It's quite clear. And moving on to the decals next. So the decals, there is some uh, damage as the, the instructions stuck to it. So not too worried as it's not on the major ones I need. Look to be okay, the colour's good, the register is good as also. It's not too thick, quite thin. That's the decals. And then lastly, I'm going to move on to the instructions. On the front it has the, the model, built by modeler representation of it. And then a brief history of the aircraft in English and then in German. Just some safety information on this side with the symbols used within the, the build. And over the page again, uh, used colours, that's just what they're suggesting you should use to build the aircraft, paint it in. And then over is the, uh, the sprue layouts telling you where each part is on each sprue and then as usual build one you start off with the cockpit that steps one and two over the page again steps three and four are also assembling the cockpit five is Telling you to, if you're doing options B, to cut away some of the cockpit on each half, and then if you're doing options A, it's telling you to cut the holes at the back for the the weapons. Step six is gluing the or placing the weapons in place it's telling you not to glue it as you can move these which I've, I'm going to glue into position 
that's six and seven. Step eight is adding the the main landing gear bay section, and then it's indicating you should use nine grams of weight as it will become a tail sitter of the page. Nine, adding the cockpit tub to the fuselage and then the sealing up. Ten is assembling the a section of um, under the surface of the fuselage and then placing the the front landing gear bay in. Eleven. And 12 is adding the the front landing gear bay to the bottom of the fuselage at the front. <coughs> 12 adding gluing and adding the, the wings and the rear control surfaces. 7 with 13 is mirrored on steps 12, steps 14 adding the engines, assembling those over the page 15, 16 and 17 uh, still assembling the engines, adding other parts to it 18 and 19 adding the engines to the wings 19 it is assembling the front landing gear oleo and 20 and 21 there's options as usual to have a blending gear retracted or down and it's telling you there's a, a side view of the aircraft it should have a bit of an angle Twenty two and twenty three again we having the landing gear up or down just telling you where to position the landing gear doors. Twenty four and twenty five is the same. Twenty six and seven is adding pitot tube and various aerials on the inside and 27 is adding the armament at the rear of the cockpit canopy and lastly 28 and 29 build steps are assembly of the, the front weapon adding that to the, the nose Adding the canopy, another section for the, the cockpit instrument panel, and an, an aerial in the middle of the fuselage at the top. That's 29 build steps. 30 and 31 are the, the decal options and colour schemes. I've gone for this one on the box art as it looks a bit more better to me than what the other one does. There is no unit markings as it's just a an aircraft that was drawn up but never put into production. It's just a fantasy markings. So that's your first option. And the second is quite similar to your first, but without the the white tail. So that is a look inside the box of the one. 72nd scale Reval Messerschmitt P1099 B slash I heavy armour.